Ladies and gentlemen, 2023 is here, and I, Zarkoon, come to you today with another video featuring HMS Nelson to give you a proposal. That proposal is for a New Year's resolution that you, as a captain of these glorious digital warships, can adopt. The resolution is this. It is time in 2023 to stop using your bow and start using your brain. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I today am going to talk to you about something that has been an endless source of frustration for me for a long time now. And that is at least what I see as the World of Warships Legends community's obsession with the value of bow armors on various different ships, battleships, cruisers, whatever. Bow armor and overmatch. Overmatch seems to be the one concept in this community that everybody seemingly understands and yet doesn't at the same time. Because anytime there is a discussion about the efficacy of a battleship or what is the best battleship, there is a sizable segment of this community that will tell you the IJN legendary tier battleship Yamato is the best battleship in this game because it has 460 millimeter guns, which can overmatch 32 millimeters of armor. That's it. That's the only argument that they have. It's an argument that they cite over and over again, and it's an argument that completely misses the point and ignores fundamental mechanics of this game like angling. Stop using your bow, start using your brain. Pointing your bow is not the same thing as angling. It can be, but they are not they are not mutually exclusive. Let's put it that way but they are not the same thing. So overmatch, it's an important concept to understand. What does it mean? Well, the way AP shells work in this game, every time you pull the trigger, you send those shells out there, they make contact with a surface of armor, the hull of a ship, its turrets, whatever. Whenever an AP shell makes contact with a surface of armor, provided that armor is thicker than a certain threshold, Calculations will be performed. The calculations are ricochet calculations, shatter calculations. Will the AP shell penetrate? Will it bounce? Will it shatter? This happens every time an AP shell makes contact with a surface of armor, unless the AP shell can overmatch that surface of armor. What does overmatch mean? It means that when the AP shell hits the overmatchable surface of armor, no calculations are performed whatsoever. It's as if the armor does not exist. The AP shell cuts through it like a knife through butter and does full penetrations and a lot of damage. The way you calculate the overmatch threshold of an AP shell is you take that shell in millimeters and divide by 14.3. In the case of HMS Nelson, which has 406 millimeter guns, the equation is 403, or I'm sorry, 406 divided by 14.3. The answer is 28.39160, etc., etc., etc. What this means is that HMS Nelson's 406 millimeter AP shells would go right through a 28 millimeter surface of armor plating without performing any ricochet checks at all. They would just penetrate, go right through. Of course, 28 millimeters is not a very common armor threshold in this game. I can only think of one ship that has 28 millimeters of armor anywhere, and that is the USS Alaska. Its upper belt armor is actually 28 millimeters, but its bow armor is 27. 27 is very common armor plating threshold in this game. You can find it on a lot of tier 7 cruisers, and so a lot of tier 7 battleships and tier 6 cruisers, or tier 6 battleships, can overmatch tier 7 27 millimeter armor cruiser plating. HMS Nelson has 25 millimeter plating. 
which can, of course, be overmatched by 16-inch guns, but also by 15-inch guns. And there are a lot of 15-inch guns at Tier 6. There's even some of them at Tier 5. And so this leads people to believe that Nelson is a glass cannon, which it is, but it's also tanky. If we take a look at the armor viewer, we can see Nelson's 25mm bow plating extends from the very tip of the bow all the way to that front turret. It's huge real estate. But right behind that, we see the orange colored plating, which is 32 millimeters. And you see it goes all along the side and it is all along the deck. 32 millimeters of armor can, as we said earlier, only be overmatched by the likes of Yamato or Musashi, neither of which you will see when you are playing Nelson. And that means you can take your side and angle it against 16-inch guns and be fully protected from penetrations because when those 16-inch guns hit that armor plating as it is angled, they will perform a ricochet check and if you angle it well enough, they will auto-bounce. Whereas if they hit that 25 millimeters of plating, they'll go right through and deal a lot of damage. And this, I think, is a problem that people have playing the Nelson and a problem that they have playing every other ship with overmatchable bow armor. But the bow armor is not the key here. The key is the side armor. When you are playing a ship that has an overmatchable bow, you have to play it differently. You have to use your brain here. You can't just point your bow at the enemy and hope you'll be okay because the enemy will do that to you. You see Nelson out there, the enemy Nelson, just overmatched our bow. We're at a little bit below half health. Luckily, Nelson is a British battleship, with, which comes with a super zombie heal that can heal up more AP penetration damage than your typical heal. So we'll be able to get a lot of that back. But how do we deal with something that can overmatch our bow? Well, what we try to do is not show it our bow. You can see how we're angled at this Nelson. We are not pointing our bow directly at him. In fact, he's pointing his bow a little bit more directly at us, and we're able to take a lot of HP from him because we can pretty easily aim at his bow. It's a little bit harder for him to aim at ours. He'd have to lead us a little bit more, so when he places his shots and they come at us, where they end up hitting is somewhere near that front turret. You'll see it again here once he fires again. There our shells go through his bow, overmatch him. I guess he doesn't shoot at us, but he was hitting between our front turret and the start of that 32 millimeter plating. So a couple of his shells were going right through and overmatching, but more crucially, a couple of his shells were hitting that 32 millimeter plating and ricocheting. That is the key to Nelson and to literally any other ship in this game with overmatchable bow and stern plating. They all tend to have side armor that can bounce shells, so what you need to do is point that side armor at the enemy ships and try to get them to aim at that side armor. You want to present a wide enough angle that they think, okay, maybe, maybe if I hit him in the side, I'm going to get some damage. And then they do hit you in the side and instead they ricochet. That's the goal here. That is how you play Nelson, and that is how you play every ship in the game like it, including cruisers, which have overmatchable bows. Now, of course, there you see it in action. The enemy Nelson hits us in the bow and in the side, penetrates through the bow, bounces on the side. We're giving as good of an angle as we can, and as our guns reload here, we're going to very manually adjust our aim take precise aim right through the bow you see how our shells overmatch they hit his citadel and he's essentially crippled now we've basically won this battle and we might look you know fairly broadside to him at this angle but if he shoots at us right now if he aims sort of right under the tower of our superstructure and hits right in the center of his ship all of his ap shells will bounce if he adjusts his aim right through my bow or right through my stern, they'll all go through. The game is not quite as simple at just pointing your bow armor as just pointing your bow armor at things. Angling is a skill that you need to master if you're going to play 
any class of ship with armor. And that would include both battleships and cruisers. Destroyers doesn't so much matter on. They don't really have any armor. But battleships and cruisers, very important thing to understand. And I don't think a lot of people really think about it. They just want to point their bows at things and be okay. But if you really want to get better at this game, if you want to not die so often in some of the squishier ships, then that's what you need to do. And if it's something you can master, then you might come to find, when you're playing at the higher tiers, legendary tier for example, Yamato really isn't the best battleship in the game, and things like Republic or Borgonia or Conqueror, all of them can effectively deal with Yamato. All of them can be overmatched by Yamato in many places, but all of them can mitigate citadel damage by angling their side armor against Yamato shells to varying degrees of success. And angling really is the name of this game, not bow tanking. That's my message for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.